Hi, Pierre Hello. Thank you so much for joining me today. How you doing? Today? We're going inside the life of a FIFO worker. FIFO fum. Uh, I had to look that up. I was trying to find, like, uh, you know, what it's like in an Australian mine. And everything just kept saying FIFO. Um, it means fly in, fly out. I still don't know exactly what that the implications of that are. Like, how often do you fly in, fly out? I don't, I don't know. I don't know what that means. It, I mean, it kind of makes sense that the mine is in a really remote place, so they need to fly in workers. I had never thought of that. But I guess they're called FIFO workers. And this is a day in the life of one. Tommy the Cowboy. Go check him out. Link down below. I'm definitely fascinated to know what this life is like that I didn't even know existed till just now. Ever wondered what a day of FIFO looks like? Yeah. Then come with me. As of five minutes ago, I did. A typical day for me starts at 3.45 a.m. What time do you go to bed, dude? After making me bed, showering and all the rest of it, my boots come on and I'm ready to go. I'm usually at the door by 4.10, 4.15 and I'm heading to the mess to pack me crib. On this particular- What? You can't speak Australian like that, man. Not everybody who's watching is Australian. You did what? 10, 4, 15, and I'm heading to the mess to pack me crib. Your crib? You still sleep in a crib? Your mess? The mess? On this particular project, Whatever. they've put us up in motels, so this is our mess. Always leave your bag outside the mess. It's good FIFO etiquette. What? <laughs> you just leave your stuff lying around? That's good etiquette? <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. The mess will look different from camp to camp. This is our mess. Oh, it's like a mess hall. Is that what it means? It's where you eat? I think they called it that in the military here in America. You know, the mess hall. Breakfast is served in these bain maries. You just grab a plate and rip in. Anyone who's worked FIFO long enough will have flashbacks seeing this coffee. I don't eat brekkie, so a black coffee usually gets the engine going. For your crib... Brekvi is breakfast for those out there who don't speak Australian. They've got a few different options you can choose. Now those... Usually gets the engine going. Those bananas... For your crib... ...are not nearly ripe. All right. They've got a few different options you can choose from. You just grab what you like, chuck it in a bag, and you're ready to go. But that sounds, that's a pretty sweet deal right there. You get free food. Once I've packed my crib and I'm all set, I'll head to the bus. The bus leaves at 5 a.m. and it free takes us straight to site. Damn, it leaves at 5 a.m. That's, that's pretty rough. Always say good morning to the bus driver. <laughs> yeah, you gotta wake him up. Give them a poke and a shove, as you say it, too. Wake them up. Good morning. You're going to have to drive this bus. Morning, guys. Morning. 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 morning, Georgie. You know, honestly, I'm kind of jealous. This, the camaraderie, I can feel it. Good morning, guys. You know, we're going to the mine. It's 5 a.m. Hell yeah. Once 5 o'clock hits, the doors will close, lights go off, and we're ready to go. The bus ride from camp to site is around 45 to 50 minutes. A lot of workers take this time to get a bit more sleep in. Huh? I spend this time staring at photos of me son. Wow. You know you're getting closer to sight when you... It's a good dad. You start seeing some lights. Once you get to sight, you hop off the bus and head to the front gate. Every worker has to swipe in through the gate so you won't get far without one of these bad boys. <laughs> so I can't try to infiltrate the mine and see what's going on, guys. That YouTube video is scrapped. Once you get to the front gate... That's pretty rough, though. 6 a.m. start and you're, you're an hour away. You'll swipe your card and head through the turnstile. This may be I mean, I've had an hour-long commute before, and that was rough, and to a different time zone. So it was like a two-hour commute type. 
But I still, you know, I had to get up at like 5 a.m. and I thought that was pretty bad. This dude's waking up at 3.45. Before me shift, I'll see you at Smoko. First break's at 10 a.m. and by this time, I'm Smoko. ready to eat a horse. Wait, what is Smoko? Is that the smoke break? There's me before- Nobody smokes in Australia though. It's too expensive. Although I know the miners get paid, right? I think. Me shift, I'll see you at Smoko. First break's at 10 a.m. and by this time, I'm ready to eat a horse. <laughs> There's my boy Pity. He's like the son I never had, I never <laughs> wanted. 10.30 means Smoko's finished. I'll see you guys at lunch. It's two o'clock and I'm back right. for lunch. So what does Smoko mean? I wish my days went this quick. I don't usually eat at lunch, so a black coffee does the job. This particular site is an underground coal mine, so everything you touch is dirty. It's 5.30, which means it's- I feel like if you're working in the mine, you gotta drink the coffee black. You gotta drink the coffee black. You can't get caught dead with cream. It's debrief, then home time. Like in the morning, the way you come in is the way you go out. Nah, we do 12 hour shifts, so you can't swipe thing. out till yeah. 6 o'clock. Once you swipe out, you'll head to the bus that'll take you back to, Time for bed. to camp. Oh my God. The bus leaves at 6, and the bus driver usually does a head count to make sure everyone's on the bus. Just fucking head, buddy. We've got a new driver. You know, the nice thing is, this sounds extremely exhausting, but at least for, you know, the breakfast and your meals and the transport, you really don't have to put any thought into it. You know what I mean? They're even counting your head, making sure you're there. Like a little kindergarten. Uh, what are they called? Field trip. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Lock on the way. Probably because these dudes are falling asleep as they are walking out the building. In, most workers take this time to have a quick nap. Reception isn't the best where we are, so most workers... I can imagine. Wait till we get back to camp to either call or text their family. We do 12-hour shifts, so by the time we get back to camp, it's already dark. Don't forget to thank the bus driver as you hop off, then you'll head to your room. As you can see, the whole day can be long and exhausting. Well, honestly, he didn't show the exhausting parts, but I believe it. Honestly, from what he showed, it looked... It's like a vacation. You know what I mean? You wake up, you get the free breakfast, you go on a little bus ride. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He cut out all the uh, exhausting 12-hour day work, but yeah. This has to be one of the best feelings in the world, taking your boots off after a long day at work. I can appreciate that this isn't the life for everyone, working away from your friends and family for long periods of time, but this is the life of a typical FIFO worker. Damn. Shout out to all me FIFO brothers and sisters sacrificing their time away from their family and friends. I hope your swings are fast and your R&R &R slow and you make it back safe to your family and loved ones. Wow, that was a really... Years revolutionizing what? That was a really great video. That was actually pretty touching there. At the end and when he said you know he, he looks at his son's photos on the way there i felt that one i wonder how long their contracts are like how many days are you doing this you can't do this every day you, you can't do this five days a week forever i imagine you do this for a few months and then i don't know you tell me i don't know And it's 3.45 a.m. to 6.50. That's absolutely brutal. Hats off to you for staying positive. Yeah. That is crazy. I mean, really, by the time you get back, it's time for bed. No exaggeration. That's wild. Shout out to anyone, any FIFOs out there. FIFO fam. <sighs> that made me feel lazy. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Blah, 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 blah.